Hi everyone, thank you for joining. My name is Uvais Iqbal, Systems Engineer with Cisco Systems Canada. Today my goal is to explain you why Cisco One Software in less than 10 minutes. So let's get right into it. We're going to look at what is Cisco One Software, why Cisco One Software, and what value does it bring to our customers and partners. And in the end, I will walk you through a use case scenario of Intelligent WAN. Let's talk about uh, what is Cisco One Software. So in the era of digitization, Cisco One Software provides the foundation for digital network architecture for our customers and partners. Now, when we came out with Cisco One Software, there were a number of objectives in mind. So let me give you a few key objectives of Cisco One Software. The first one is to offer flexible way to consume Cisco software for network infrastructure. And number two is to enable IT to deliver more business value. And number three, to simplify the purchase experience for our customers and partners. Now let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of traditional way of selling hardware and software compared to C1. In the case of traditional way of selling hardware, you would select the hardware as an example 4331 ISR, and then you have to make a decision on which iOS or the available bundles that you would buy, security, unified communications, and whatnot. And then you need to worry about the additional features and functionalities that you would want to sell to your customers based on their business requirements. So there are hundreds of uh, individually priced item SKUs that you need to select from the list. And what happens at the refresh? So let's say your refresh cycle is five years. So in five years, when you refresh the hardware, not only the hardware, you need to buy the software, the license and everything all over again. Why? Because in the traditional model, the software license and the software is tied to the life of the box. But when you look at the Cisco One model, in Cisco One model, you still need to buy a hardware, which is ISR 4331 in this example. But instead of deciding on iOS and features, you have to make a decision on software suite. So Cisco One has software suite approach, which we have different models, different levels available. So you can go for the foundation, then you can go for the higher tier of advanced application. And then we also have advanced security. And it, it's available for LAN, WAN, and the data center. So here you need to make a decision on which software suite meets the requirements of your customer. And then when the time of refresh comes, here what you need to do is you only need to swap the hardware. The portable, the license portability feature of Cisco One license and software, it can be ported onto the new device that you would buy at the end of your uh, refresh, when you do the refresh. Now this helps to lower the total cost of ownership at the end when you refresh your network. And I will show you in terms of what savings can you see at the end when I walk you through the use case scenario. Now let's talk about why Cisco One. There are many benefits, I'm going to highlight the top five. Predictable budget span. We have the options of CapEx versus the OpEx. The fixed term subscription lengths available, one year, three year, five year, which gives you the flexibility. Support contract included. If you are in the Cisco One software subscription or enterprise licensing agreement, or your Swiss contract is uh, activated or active in terms of the perpetual, uh, you know, if you went with the perpetual option, so this gives you a regular tech support, the updates and upgrades included, access to ongoing innovation, which is one of the key ones. So let's say at Cisco, we continue to innovate uh, new software, the features and functionalities. So let's say if we uh, create a new feature or functionality and we're continuously adding those features and functionalities into the software suites that we have developed for Cisco One software, which means that let's say if you have bought C1 foundation for WAN, and if we develop a new feature, which is part of C1 foundation, you already have it. So you don't have to go back and, and look at the purchase of the new feature and functionality uh, through the purchase program. And finally, license portability, which I just talked about at the time of refresh, licenses and software are portable as long as you are under the support contract, which will bring your, which will lower the total cost of ownership when you refresh. <clears throat> Now let's have a look at the value Cisco One Software brings to our customers and partners. For customers, uh, at the time of purchase, we simplify the purchase experience in terms of uh, you know making the decision on iOS versus you know just selecting the the, uh, the software suite. Access to ongoing innovation, which I just talked about. Number three, it helps lower total cost of ownership because of the license portability feature of Cisco One Software. 
which we talked about it here. At the time of refresh, the customer will see additional savings uh, when they refresh the hardware. When it comes to partners, it brings a number of uh, value. First one is recurring revenues. So I know when I sell Cisco One software to my customer for one, three, five year terms, I know what to expect in terms of revenue. Number two is protect customer base. And this is one of the key one. So in today's time, when everybody is trying to protect their customer base, it's so important and I would link this one to ongoing innovation, access to ongoing innovation. If as a partner, you're making sure the customer has the features and functionalities that they need to run their business, this will create a stickiness in the environment. And when the time comes to have conversation to renew their C1 subscription, it will be easier for you to protect the base. And this is one of the other important point. The third one is life cycle services opportunity. So as a certified life cycle uh, partner, you have a great opportunity to land, adopt and expand. You go to your customer with the access to ongoing innovation. You can always go back and enable feature X, Y, Z, such as energy management, which is part of some of the some, some of the foundation bundles. You could go and enable that feature or any other new feature that, that, that is being added recently and customer, they don't have to worry about going back to the purchase motion of the feature and functionality. So you can help them to implement those additional features and also help them to adopt some of the features and functionalities either for their network or for their users. And at the end, you can expand on the opportunity, which brings more revenue to you in terms of uh, satisfying your customer and meeting your numbers. Now, in the end, let's talk about use case, which is branch intelligent wide area network, which is one of the hot topic. Let's say if I were to go the traditional route, if I buy ISR 4331 with the AX bundle, the price is $5,300 US. <clears throat> then I add SmartNet to it, so 630, the price comes down to 5930, versus if I go the C1 route, I would still need to buy hardware, remember from this example? The hardware cost is 3300, but here I need to make a decision based on the software suite versus the bundles of uh, you know, unified communications or security or features or iOS. Here we are selecting the C1 foundation for wide area network. It's $2,000. Then we add SmartNet for the box. Then we add Swiss for the C1 foundation. The total price comes down to $59.82. Look at the difference, $59.82 versus $59.30. How much extra are you paying? $52 only. But to see what are you getting in terms of uh, buying WAN foundation software suite. It's giving you application visibility, secure connectivity, threat defense, open DNS, way more DRAM and flash, and number of other features and functionalities. When you look at these individually priced items in the traditional way, you are saving 8415 US dollars right at the get uh, at, at the uh, at the get go. And when the time comes to refresh, remember, at the time of refresh, the licenses and software are, are portable. All you need to do is buy hardware. Hence, this is going to help you to lower your total cost of ownership. And in some scenarios, you can save up to 13% when it comes to a refresh at the end of the cycle. So I hope you found this Cisco One software uh, discussion useful where we did not have any PowerPoint slides. I just wanted to make sure that I touch upon some of the key things right on a whiteboard and walk you through to some of the examples. But I wish if I had access to Cisco Sparkboard, I'm sure that you must have heard about Sparkboard. If I had it, I could have done this uh, live on Sparkboard and it would have been easier for me to share with you in this Spark Room. But I'm going to take a photo and share it with you in this Spark Room that we have created for ongoing communication. In the end, to have, in order to have a deeper understanding of Cisco One software, please do not hesitate to reach out and also make use of the C1 conversion tool that we have made available to our partners where you can put the older bill of material and then it can give you a bill of material with C1 SKUs to have the conversation with your customer. With this, thank you very much. Thanks for watching.